All right, this one's gonna be on Redshift. It is a program I've been using for I think like one or two months now, and it actually does help your eyes a lot. I'll say. Um, what it does is that, let's say you're reading at night or you do some work at night or something like that, and you know how the, your monitor or your screen, it uh, it's too bright. What this one does is that it changes the color temperature of your screen or your TV or whatever you're using, and it'll actually adjust the colors um, to whatever your location is at, uh, whatever time um, you're using it. And it actually, it does help your eyes. So normally your screen will look something like this on your uh, left side here, right? It's just normal. But if you're doing this at night or something like that, it will show something like this. Uh, I can't show you on the screencast here because, you know, it doesn't capture in the screencast. So this is the image here that it'll look like, all right? Now, when you're doing this in the morning, you're not going to see any difference, but uh, if you're doing this at night, you will see a difference, and it does help your eyes. I mean, probably like the first few times, it, you know, it looks kind of weird, but if you use it like uh, a while, you get used to it, and it does help your eyes. Your eyes are not going to be like, uh, you know, a burning with solar flare in your fucking eyes here. Anyways, uh, to activate this, pretty easy. If you want to do just from the terminal, um, let's see here. We will do like a red shift. This is how you would just activate it from the terminal if you want to do it that way. Although I don't think my screen capture picks it up. Um, anyways, I wrote a script because I don't want to use the terminal to do this. I just want to buy into a hockey. So, uh, where's my script? Here we go. Red shift toggle. And it does require, what is that? Red shift. And I also use a uh, notification. So you need to install lib notify and they'll have notify sent here but basically if it's on then they'll turn it off if it's off it's turning on uh, not that hard so this is what it looks like when you activate it here so if I hit uh, my hotkey uh, what is that control shift and R to activate it I'll say red shift off right now right if I turn if I hit the hotkey again it'll say on and so on and so forth and it'll activate it Obviously, uh, my screen capture doesn't pick this up, so I can't really show you anything. But uh, that's what that does if you want to do this. Anyways, after that, um, as far as the script, what is this here? Uh, just download the script. I'll post you in the description or something like that. But uh, make sure you do a, what was that, chmod plus x on this redshift here. Toggle.sh here, right? And that will give you a, um, what was that? A read, write, and execute for the user. So what was that, 755 here? Read, write, and execute. And it'll allow you to execute the script. And all you gotta do is, um, what was that? Uh, go to keyboards, if you're on XFCE here. And just bind it to a hotkey, right? You add a new one. And as far as the command, just point it to the script. Uh, where's our script here? Red shift toggle or something like that and hit OK. We'll give this a new hotkey. Let's say we do uh, control shift J or something like that. All right, um, and now you hit control shift J, it'll say off if it's already on. Control shift J again, it'll be on again, so on and so forth. If you want to do that way so I only suggest this if you're using it um, you know to read at night or something like that or like working on things that doesn't like require um, um, you know like looking at pictures or or, or movies or something like that for movies I'll suggest you turn it off because you know you want to see the movies uh, the way it is and same thing with pictures if you're doing picture editing or something like that you want to see the real colors other than that like for reading uh, I'll suggest you just use it um, turn it on and stuff like that Anyways, that's the script uh, that I use for toggling on and off with a hotkey. Well, that'll be it for this one for Redshift. Check it out if you want to protect your eyes. All right, that'll be it for this one.